Okay then, welcome back to more Elden Ring, and we have just reached the outskirts of the Weeping Peninsula. First things first, we need to basically heck, follow the road all the way south. Um, as you may have noticed, a lot of the map fragments are along roads, and that is that is not particularly different here. So we just want to make our way south. On the way, it's going to be a good idea to talk to... Um, oh, what's your name? I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name. We've got to go find her dad in the castle that is uh, basically directly south of us, and that's what we're going to do. Although not immediately, we probably will clear this area. No, deliver the letter. Do that. Irina, Irina, that's her name. There we go. Um, this is actually one of my favourite scenes in the game, and one of the kind of scenes that I wish we'd just seen more of. Um, so here we kind of see like a broken um, caravan on the side. So there's some loot in there. Most of this stuff here we don't really need to pick up. Um, so we're going to try to avoid most of the enemies, although I've just noticed we can summon it again. They've added a nice, a nicety here. How pleasant. Um, let's just clear our way there, that's going to make things a little easier. This one of my favourite scenes just because, like, you see, kind of, this is all kind of all wrecked and stuff. They've just been fighting against the demi-humans over here. And I just kind of, I kind of like the, the way that it's set up. Um, you know, like, so the... Oh, man. Haha, <laughs> my dog's got you back. <laughs> um, it's like the way it's set up, like, with the whole conflicts and stuff being there. It's just really cool, I like it. Morning Star, not for me. You know what? Maybe I'll go and grab all this. I shouldn't. It's really not all that worth it, but... We will anyway. Just so you guys can see what it all is. Uh, we do have an Ash of War coming up in the middle of the road in a second. So uh, we're going to want to be in casty mood. Oh no, it's going to get away. No, there we go. Mighty shot it is, huh? Oh, it's night time, that's not good. That's the Knight's Cavalry, we do not want to aggro that. That means we turn it into daytime right now. Let's do that. <laughs> I am not in a position to be fighting those. Like, probably less than it. It's probably got to breathe in my direction and I'll be dead. Uh, we have another merchant here. We should be able to kill this one, actually. You have anything good for me? What do you have? Uh, so we have this. Uh, we've got stone sword keys. So if you need more keys now, we have this. Um, and we have the Crimson Amber Medallion. So if you guys um, want extra health, this was actually one of the starting gifts. And now you can see just how cheap it is. Um, so if you picked that at the beginning, I don't know what to say. Don't know what to tell you. So I have 10 of those. Oh, interesting. So if I get two, we need 12 of these to get the weapons plus three. So that's real nice. And if I get. As a, you only have one. Okay, cool. That's kind of nice. Could go and upgrade the rapier a fair amount. You shouldn't be a problem. So we're just going to continually poke this guy. I know it's not very mage-like, but it works, and it stops him getting on his freaking donkey, which I hate. So, that's what's happening here. You got me a little bit too close to death there, though. There we go. That's what they're wearing. We'll handle those in later. Uh, for now, though, what we want to do is we're going to continue following the road. This is the way you want to be careful, though. Um, directly ahead of us, and we should be able to see it. Um, pretty obviously, is... Can we see it? Can't really see it. There's a giant down there that's going to fire arrows at us, and if they hit you, that's going to be pretty nasty. So we just want to be want to be aware of that. But we came this way, because up here, look, we have Golden Seed. Oh, that's close. So we can curl back so that we can get the map fragment from the uh, from the post here. Now we're actually going to go ahead and deal with it because having some extra runes right now would be nice. So we're just going to come down now using all of the cover we have here to our advantage. Be careful near the trees because it can fire through some of them. Don't know what this pool is for. 
There is an Ash of War near us. It's like a poison mist one, I think. Um, which is quite useful, but we don't really need it right now. And I'll leave it for, for just this second, just while we're dealing with the Mr. Giant here. Oh, you got the horse, you naughty boy. My poor horse, what did it ever do to you, huh? Now, I will eventually get some um, kind of close combat spells. There's some nice looking kind of blade ones, which are real cool. Um, but for now, all we really have is just the poker. I suppose we could try doing some of this. It works just as well. We're going to go in here and tag the Grace just so that we can come back here nice and easy later on. This right here right, is uh, is Castle Morn. We're going to leave it for now. This will get its own set of episodes. So named the Castle Morn walkthrough, as you might imagine. Um, for now, what we want to do is... Because, because we're going to fast travel back anyway... Um, we're going to go back to the round table hold. I'm going to upgrade the rapier. And being as we defeated the, um, the mariner, we should now see D. Show death root. Yep. So we can hand the death roots over to an NPC, and that NPC will give us prizes for them, which is real nice. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. Can we level? That's the question. We cannot. Cool. We do now have enough for an extra flask, though. Always more blue than red. That is the rule. Healing is going to be difficult. Yes, 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 yes. Respect to you. And then come around here. I'm going to talk to uh, to Smith Boy. Just upgrade. Just upgrade this. There we go. Oh, we can even go one more. Yeah, why not? There we go. And then, realistically speaking, what I want to do now is upgrade my wolves. Now, I think we only have a one, yes. So, they're just a little bit better now. It's not going to be like world ending or anything. But it is just going to make them a nice little bit better for us as we start exploring the Weeping Peninsula. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. There are a lot of side dungeons. But I really want to get Lootal first. That is the mission. We're on eight minutes. Okay, yeah, so... We want to go to get to here from up this, don't you? This is kind of its own little bit. That'll get its own mini episodes. There's a dungeon up here and stuff. So we want to go to this Grace. So we're going to go to Castle Morn Rampart and then head up to the north in this way. That's where we're going to go. We're going to get ourselves ready to do the dungeon that we want to go to, and then we'll have that be its own episode so that we can kind of direct people to where did you get that summon from? In this episode here, when we did, I think it's called Tombs Ward Catacombs for Lutl the Barbarian. I mean, <laughs> Lutl, the very nice summon. Wrong way. We're going this way. So from here, head north. Obviously, we came south from this way. Um, we're just going to take this left-hand path here. We should be doing decent damage. I keep on forgetting to check to see if the gravity well will um, change the scaling on my on my rapier. Let's try it here. This is an extra grace. This is a really weird place to put a grace in my opinion. There's really very little reason for it and you really shouldn't be like struggling at this point. Because um, I think gravity is intelligence placed. Yes, so that is going to give us um, just a little bit more. It's that 125. So the numbers are high but it's deceptive because it's split damage but we should basically get more damage. And what you should be able to see is, um, you see the plus number? So you see 118, that's the base damage of the weapon. The plus 13 is the scaling. So we're getting that damage from just our innate strength and dex right now. Whereas when you go to here, look, you see 
Uh, the plus is a 17, so while, like, on some weapons you'll see that the, 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 uh, the base damage is, like, higher, eventually, as you put um, points into your damage stat, that scaling will rise and mean that the scaling will eventually uh, be better on most weapons. Um, so, yeah, from here, we're going to continue to the west. We could go get the thingy staff, the queen staff. Yeah, why not? We should be okay for that. I've just got to really avoid damage like the plague at the moment. That's the um, the biggest issue. Once we have Lootal, we're going to go on a bit of a journey to get some upgrade materials. We'll have it um, reach plus six pretty quickly. Yeah, plus six, because I happen to know where some materials are to get it overpowered early, which is why this gets ridiculous. Oops. Alright, can I steal some of the wolves? I can, that's good. So we're going to come to this northern side. This is where we want to be. Where are we? Inside here is a rather large enemy. And we just need to make sure that we are prepared for it. I get off the horse. It was letting me summon the wolves a second ago. There we go. Okay, so we've got to be pretty close into here for this now. Again, this is something that kind of wasn't available before. So this is kind of going to be a bit of a weird strategy for me, because usually I'll pull it out this way. Um, so we want to get rid of this real quick. Shouldn't have waited. I should have got in there. Look how many. Oh my god. <laughs> it's hilarious. Get off. Oh, I got... I got uh, my spell cancelled there. Luckily my wolves are doing pretty good at handling all those. Can you get through this? I don't even know if you can. Yeah, it's you down. Then human queen staff. Technically better than the one we're using, especially if we um, if we upgrade it. But um, there's really no need because by the time you upgraded um, the demi human queen staff to the point where it's better than the Mesia staff, you might as well have upgraded a different one. So. We're, uh, we're not going to be about that life. Our terror leaves. So they were important before. Still kind of relevant. Um, we can do some pretty cool stuff with those. And I've, really, I've never tried the wolves with them. The wolves may well be a good summon for using them on. Now uh, there is a bit of a bigger one around here somewhere. Where are we? There's more loot. I can't remember what it is. There's the big one. Iliar, I see you. You can roar, but you're like all the way over there and you're taking damage. There we go. Now I think we need a, the horse to get to the loot. Like right through here, here we go. I knew it, see? I knew it. Come down here for this. I can't remember what this is. I just knew it was here. Shield of the Guilty. There you go. Something I've never bothered using. <laughs> I couldn't tell you if that's good or not. <laughs> but we did it. That's what matters. Right. Uh, so now that we've looted this area, which I think is called Dim Human Forest Ruins. There we go. We're going to start heading up to a church that is just a little bit above us. Just a little bit. I think my next point is going to have to go to health. I definitely need a better health pool than I have right now. Um, but you know, we could try, you know, not putting any points into health, but I just don't think that's going to be great. <laughs> it needs to be at least four. We need at least 40 in vigor, so that's not to uh, insta die all the time. Although we're still probably going to insta-die. We're in real light armor right now. Cool. So that's going to be a point in health for me. Let's do that. No, it's not. We still don't have enough. Amazing. Uh, I can't remember what's out here. So this guy here is... Um, a source of his sword. Yeah, two chances at it dropping the swords it's got, which is probably one of the best... Um, 
curve swords for the requirement to damage ability. Um, I was potentially going to use the prisoner and have that as the sidearm, but I decided this was more mage like, so I decided not to do it. But yeah, with, with, a, with a fairly minor um, investment in uh, strength and dex, you can you can have that sword, and it'll do very well for you. There should be a shield, I think. Yeah, go to die and shield. Still something we're not using. Um, next up then, what we've got? We've got five minutes, so we do want to still clear some stuff. The Tombs Ward Catacomb is basically directly south of us um, on this cliff. You can see there's the... Um, I've, I've pinged the wrong cliff, but you can see there's the statue up there. If you interrupt the statue, it's going to, going to tell you to go to the cliff after. Here is the best farm for... Um, for thin bones, you can see we've got one set of sheep there, we've just been past one set. If you continue down here, you'll have another set. And the cool thing is you can ping between two graces, because there's another grace right there. On honestly, it feels like they literally put the grace there so we can farm these, so... If you want to craft arrows, this is this is where you come for your thin bones. So, other things we can talk about. Uh, that right there is how you multiply um, boss runes. I don't know what they're called. They're called I think it causes them remembrances. Um, and that will um, allow you to duplicate it. So basically when you defeat like a main boss of the game, obviously I'll identify that when we've done it. First one usually is for most people is Godric. Um, you'll be able to get like a choice of two items for um, the, re the, the, the remembrance that you get from the boss. When you use that, you, uh, you can get, a, get an extra copy. So you can either take the same reward twice, or you can get one of each reward, whatever it is you want out of it. Here we have another grave site, so we're just going to loot this. Um, there's a little area with a load of bat things just... Um, I think it's to the, is that the east, yeah, to the east of us. Um, I never really found it particularly worth going down there, so we're not going to bother with that. Grab this. Then we're going to head out over to the shack. We have another merchant to deal with. This big area, by the way, is just littered with stuff. It's like big flat open expanse and it's littered with stuff. So we've got uh, that there. Oh, you know what? I didn't pick up the sacred tear from, uh, from that church. Should have done that. Most churches have a sacred tier. Um, and I think we actually could get two in this area, so we're going to get both of those. I've got two minutes, we can do that. Come on. Quickly. Yes. There we go. No mercy. Uh, next up then, so we want to go... Up to the north. If we hit the beach, we should see a rune item we can grab as well. Yet more stuff you guys can use. Where are we? Right here. Boom, another one. It's in 200 roots. Somebody said there is actually a big one out here, but I, I've never found it. There is a bigger one. Um, someone commented it on my... Uh, on the last time I came through here on the video, but I don't know where it is. So if that same person comments again, look out for that in the comment section, because um, that'll just be useful for you. Oops. Yeah, I don't want to fall off there. That's not where I'm trying to go. Um, the ruin down there is really only useful when we start doing Selden's quest proper, and we can't really do that until we reach the Altus Plateau, which is like two zones away. So that's quite far, basically, is what I'm saying. So we're going to grab this tier here. I don't think we'll grab the other one, so we're going to do that quickly. Yeah, as I thought. I bet there's already somebody down there in the comments screaming at me for not picking this up. I apologise, it is my fault. Um, but we're going to use this up now, and then we can make our way through the uh, Tombs Ward Catacombs very shortly, right? So we go ahead and increase this. This actually makes um, levelling mind up worth it again. But for now, um, we're just going to go ahead and get a point in health because uh, it's getting a bit silly. 
Uh, I'm going to talk to Melda between now and the next episode, and I'll see you guys again soon.